Okay, so before we dive into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Now, these guys have supported my channel month by month while I slowly watch almost a decade's worth of content slowly slip out of the buttery fingers of YouTube's algorithm. So huge thanks to them. Now, if you don't already know, Surfshark VPN is a top of the line VPN software that's here to protect your online information as well as your privacy with their literal military grade encryption and razor sharp teeth. With as many embarrassing things as I can see in your history right now, maybe you should consider sharking it up. Even better, you can utilize Surfshark for things like getting the best deals online. From airline tickets, items with age discounts, all the way to getting Netflix for a fraction of your current country's pricing. You literally just change the location and turn on the VPN. And it's really that easy to use, even easier to set up on your devices. And yes, you can utilize Surfshark on any number of devices under a single subscription, which you can currently get for 83% off and three months absolutely free if you use the code IGP at checkout. To make it easier for you, just click the link down in the description and the code will be automatically applied for you at checkout. You also get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to lose. Get protected today with the shark. Well, 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 would you look at that? I bet you didn't think I would come back to playing some Subnautica, let alone Subnautica Below Zero, right? I know a long time ago, we were playing the Return of the Ancients mod, right? Where they added the Gargantuan Leviathan. There was a couple of other mods that really added to the, the whole experience that made it different. And we did a playthrough. We didn't finish it because you guys stopped watching Subnautica and I don't blame you, right? I think I have like 600 videos on this game, but I really wanted to revisit it for a few reasons. One, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, and you may already know about this to begin with, the same people who are still currently working on the Return of the Ancients mod with the Gargantuan Leviathan are also working on adding the frozen Leviathan to Below Zero as a living creature, unfrozen, alive and everything. And we're gonna be exploring that today in addition to some other mods that I found that I didn't even realize existed for Below Zero. So now I'm gonna use this video as a gauge since there's been a massive update on the Return of the Ancients mod on the original Subnautica, and there's a bunch of mods that can make the experience of Below Zero very different, would you like to see a series, a modded series being booted up again on the channel? Give me the go ahead and I'll do it. Just make sure you let me know down below. Anyway, I'm in creative mode because I don't wanna die. This ain't a survival series, suck it up. I have a few mods in already. This one is the most interesting to me, okay? This is a dynamic water level mod, which I assume is a port from the original Subnautica. I didn't realize it had all of these options though. I think genuinely these might just be for below zero, but we'll talk about that. Now, in the original game, you had to be in the main menu, I think, to change the water level, but now I can do it dynamically. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that. There's a bunch of settings that can add a little bit of realism to the water being changed, right? Like fish will die. Uh, if I lower this down and there's a bunch of fish spawning over here, they're going to suffocate and die as fish would. I can remove the shoals of fish for immersion purposes. There's a ton of fixes for things like the prawn, the mobile vehicle bay, creature spawns, even a work in progress adding the ice worms to follow you on what is now new land, depending on how low you decide to make the water level which for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put all the way down. Look at that. Oh, also, we got some shaders, dude. Look at this. I have three shaders and I want you guys to also potentially vote on which one you like the best. This one's kind of cool. I feel like it looks best during the day, but I can platform this, dude. Oh, look at me, dude. I'm CSGO surfing. Oh boy. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, obviously, I'm assuming this is gonna be worked on. The ambience still kind of kicks in. I'm assuming that's a global setting. <gasps> oh, they fell. I wonder what the deep twisty bridge. How would I even get back up? I'd have to raise the water level. Also, I'm not gonna play with it right now because I feel like there's so much you could potentially do with this, but there is an automatic mode that can either raise or lower the water on a timer. All depends on what settings you put, but I feel like we can make an entire video out of that or, or even a challenge or something. I don't know. Let's actually change it to night. There we go. Oh, this is cool. The snow goes all the way down. The snow won't accumulate though. It's a bit of a, I don't know, man. It takes away all the immersion, can't do it. Oh, you know what would be dope? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ha 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 ha. 
What was that? Oh, the ice worms. How far do they go? The screen just shook. I don't know if that was because of the bike, but... Ooh. I think I just screwed myself. Hold on. All right, let me change this shader real quick. Cinematic realism, this one's called. I actually see. Yeah. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's creepy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go forward. Forward! <laughs> oh, this is dope. Oh, no. I'm going to have fun with this. I don't... I don't see my... I think I just went into the deep twisties. Oh, this is bad. I'm still falling. Still falling. Oh! Yep. What? <laughs> this is so weird. This is so weird. Okay, the question is, where are the squid sharks? Are they all dead? They suffocate. They're fish too, man. Last time I checked. Oh, yeah. Aw. I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean to manipulate the... Why did I hear that only out of my left ear, no matter which way I was facing? We got one more, I think. This one, I think, from the screenshots. Yeah, dude. This one looked the best. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Daytime? Oh my god, it's still so dark. Ooh! Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh! Jesus. What in the- Oh, no! <laughs> oh, this is so weird to see. I'm gonna- Dude! I am a natural enemy. <laughs> I, I am a danger to this planet. Dude, I like this shader a lot. Hold on, let's do night. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that is brutal. I'm going to raise the water back up, though, because I, I don't think I can do much. There we go. Woo. Man, this is so cool. Can I... Wait, wait, wait. Can I just raise it up? Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, you're talking about the planet just being completely underwater. Oh, my God. Hold on. So part of the mods, too, you can actually... Uh, developer and then I can teleport to places the rocket let's go to the rocket now we're just <laughs> the whole planet is just covered in water this is so cool so let's turn to the main event right what you guys are all here to see now I want to warn you I'm sure a lot of you have seen this mod uh, to an extended degree uh, on Anthomnia's channel uh, I've spoken to the developer, spoken to Anthomnia. I have a version of it, because again, that one was made for Anthomnia's birthday for a special video. I have a more basic version of the mod uh, to show to you guys, just as kind of like a, hey, this is what we're working on. The creature's here. Uh, but for the most part, I am just going to give you what I have available so you can see it, okay? I just wanted to warn you because some of you might complain that it's not finished. Again, the early access argument, you can argue that for mods too, okay? This is definitely a work in progress. They're focusing on the Return of the Ancients right now. So, let's get to it. Ooh. Okay, wait, this is so cool. Hold on, this is not where I'm supposed to be yet, but I wanted to check on it. And because I thought maybe in the mod, they would actually, like, it would not be here. Like, it'd be interesting, like, for the story of the mod, or, like, as you're progressing, you see it in here, and then later you see that it's broken out, you know? Oh, my God. This, this shader is, is the winner. The Depths BZ. This is dope. I like how dark it is. Might be hard for you guys to see... It's supposed to be dark. Okay, these parts, it's the depths. Anyway, moving on. Okay, 
Okay, yep, mm -hmm. this is as terrifying as I thought it was gonna be. The way he like tilts his head. <gasps> I don't like it, man. I believe this was hand animated and that these clearly weren't pre-made animations that the game had stored. Look at that, dude. Is this the right size though? I think it is. Hi, are you gonna kill me? Okay, you might just be an animation. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Dude, these things, it's like, it's the equivalent of like the Balrog from Lord of the Rings, right? Except that they're not like, maybe they're not godlike. I do know that there are some aspects to this that I'm not able to uh, access right now in terms of like these things being hyper intelligent, like the emperor. I don't know, apparently there's voice lines and stuff, but this is, I gotta see this at night, hold on. Oh. Dude, imagined! Oh, God! Being stuck. Look at the eyes! Oh. oh, this is so cool! Thank God he's docile right now. Are you my friend? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how I feel about that. I would just, you know, if they are this intelligent thing, you'd imagine that. It's just like the Emperor. Maybe there are different races that are far superior than the rest of the animals on the planet. You know what I mean? Species, rather. Look at him. Look at him just sitting there all menacing with his damn eyes. But yeah, like, I, I don't know how I feel about it. We've already had the Emperor. It would just, it would just interest me that these are just kind of like uh, primitive, just dumb creatures. Not dumb per se, but you know. And they're just like the the other land dwellers, but they just happen to be massive, you know, like a blue whale or something. Nothing crazy. Stop looking at me. Will he do it again? Hold on. Whoa! Oh, uh, <laughs> I think it's... Oh, you bumped into him, dude. So as you can see... As you can see, uh, it's not all fleshed out. Again, this is just, I mean, this is a very good start. You have the basics of, uh, of the animations and whatnot. Sorry about the shakiness of it. I genuinely think it's the shader. Let me turn this off. I don't know why it would be acting like, I think it is, yeah, wow. Let me turn this back to night. Okay, yeah, nowhere near as scary. The shaders are quite intensive, so I'm not that surprised. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. What if we, what do you guys do underwater? Anything? Now I can fly around. I like your mouth. I like what it's doing. Oh man, these things are terrifying. So now I believe I can spawn them in and they will actually walk around. This one is kind of just like a cinematic one. I don't know why it's at this base. Let's see. Yeah, this one turns. There's three of them. Dude, I've got, I've got three of them up. Oh, this is so wonky. I know, trust me, this, again, this is a work in progress. Please don't take this as if it's finished. I, I know that this is gonna be incredible when it's added. So, the, I mean, the Gargantuan Leviathan mod is already that, so. Whoa, 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 are you massively bigger than the others? Maybe not, maybe it's just perspective. Holy mother of God. No, I think you're the same. This is horrifying, dude. This is a sea of madness right now. Hold on. Let's turn this back on and go to the depths shader. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is a mess, dude. All right. I gotta, ooh! <laughs> dude, are you kidding me? Oh my God, that is so horrifying. It's so insane what a little bit of like shading can do. Dude, oh my God. I, 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 I gotta raise the water level, hold on. Yep. Warning, passing 100 yeah. meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Am I stuck on something? Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. That face right there. Nope. Aw. He's taking a hot bath. So I'm actually out here trying to uh trying to put these things in their natural habitat so we can kind of get a glimpse at what it would look like. 
out on the flat lands, like over here, will be perfect. The problem is, is I don't... Where the hell is this? Oh, it's an actual playable area. Whoops. Might actually be all the difference here, but I like... Like, I can't get them to stay on ground. They keep, like, sinking. Oh, this one's fine. Yeah, see? What the hell? What is this? They're just falling through. No! All right, for a brief second, you can kind of get a, the gist of, like, seeing it on land, right? Ooh, that's a crazy screenshot right there. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I can show for this thing. I really wanted to kind of get a glimpse. If it gets updated, I'm sure I'll be informed, or you guys can let me know, and I'll be happy to show you what's new. Uh, but again, let me know down below if you guys want to see a series on the update to the Return of the Ancients mod, that full conversion mod on the original Subnautica, or I can do some cool stuff in Below Zero if you want, or if you want me to stay as far away as possible from Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero. I fully understand, and I respect your opinion. Just let me know down below. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. I'm going to take a nap.